easy bake oven for adults. This is a device that optimizes the cooking in your kitchen. It's helping me eat a little bit healthier. It's helping me drink a little nope. less soylent and eat actual real food, which I know is much better for you. Really good for people who are singles, and potentially three person sized families that are just trying to make meals. And it's a device where you put the food in, you press a button, set it, forget it, pops out, it's ready to go. And you can cook like your meat and your vegetables at the same exact time because of the technology that, that they use. I think there's a three part process to cooking, right? There's the buying, grocery shopping, there's the actual cooking, and then there's the cleaning. This device will help you with the cooking and the cleaning process because the cooking, they optimize with one button, the cleaning, it's super easy to clean their pans and it's really easy to clean the inside of this Brava home. The one piece that they still don't offer, Brava, this is a business idea for you guys, is the grocery shopping part. I would love to have just like a, I'd pay like a weekly fee and get the ingredients I need for the meals I like in my Brava and they would just ship it. Or even at the beginning when I buy this product, have a couple meals ready so I don't have to worry about buying the ingredients similar to like Home Chef, but similar to those companies where they'll send you the ingredients and then you can cook it using your Brava device. And like, why would you want to get this product? You don't have time, right? You're really busy, you have a busy schedule and cooking is just something that can be tedious sometimes. In today's video, I'm gonna go through what I eat in a day, the meals that I would make and what I like to make and show you kind of what it's like eating healthy with this device and eating some somewhat unhealthy things. First thing we'll be making is eggs, bacon for breakfast, and some protein pancakes with chocolate chips. I know it's a little cheating. I wouldn't have the pancakes every single day, but the eggs, potentially the bacon, get your protein, your fats. For lunch, I'll be making some salmon, or maybe some burgers. For dinner, we'll be making steak and some vegetables. And that's pretty much it, you got your three meals. If you're intermittent fasting, you can just eat your breakfast meal for lunch. Sometimes I'll do that and then just have one of those bigger meals for dinner. What's really neat is even I just seen had like a, a chef's creation so I can go follow her and see what her foods are with a zero zero DZ. She even has the I just seen like breakfast bowl. To be honest, it has way too many ingredients. So I'm gonna stick with simple ingredients. For breakfast, poached eggs. So what I really love on the app is they will tell you the serving size as well as how long the process will take. Five to six minutes total time. Two eggs. This is the steps. I put water in, put two eggs, I go to my app, I go to poached eggs. I can send it to my Brava. There's like a little send button. Now it's already on here. I will actually want them in the back. I slide the tray as far back as possible. I select two eggs. Default, slide it into the top shelf, which I did. It's gonna confirm what's about to happen. Close the door, press the green button, and then it's gonna start cooking. It's gonna take about four minutes and 15 seconds. You can see the current time, it is cooking. The eggs are right there, and all I need to do is wait for this to finish. This is definitely a nice to have, right? As I sent my poached eggs with the send button, I can see on the app that it shows cooking and it'll have a live video feed as well as on the Brava itself, there is a live video feed right over here with the amount of time left. I can even pause the cooking if I really need to. Just like I have a notification that Brava started, I'll get one that Brava has completed. You hear that? It's done. So now the Brava is done cooking. It says poached eggs complete open door and checking before continuing, so obviously. Now, when you do grab that, make sure you have a little uh, thingy because I burned myself last time. Look at those poached eggs. I did put a little bit too much water probably. Whoop. Oh yeah, toasty. I think I'm gonna cook them a little more, honestly. We're gonna touch up, sear, and sear that, baby. So 45 seconds to sear the eggs a little more. Sear top complete. Okay, maybe I should let it cool a little bit. This right here is the fan. You can hear how loud it is. After it's been done cooking, I think it's just venting the system. There are the poached eggs. Ideally, you want a wooden spoon, but that's how easily they come off. Right there, you can see the third stage is actually cleaning this tray, so I will let it cool off while we taste test this. Oh yeah, a little overcooked actually, but that's okay because I seared it. Really freaking good. Mm. Honestly, I would literally buy this just to make eggs because all I need to do is buy eggs, have the egg tray, put a little water, put the egg in, press start, pull out the eggs, dump it, eat it, 
wash the little tray, probably even just get away with rinsing it, and repeat that every morning. Easy bake oven for adults, everyone keeps saying. So the real question is, how well will this clean? So let's take this tray. Just with water. And just like that with a quick scrub, we are clean. So that I love. Let's make some pancakes. Pancakes, chocolate chip, a fourth of a cup in each one. Turn this up to four. It's a little burnt. It's really good. You're a little burnt. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. It's okay. I like the, the shape of it. It was, it was like rounded. So this is the pancake. As you can see, it is good on one side, toasty on the other side, but it tastes relatively good. I'm gonna make some bacon. Two strips per zone. Three zones, six strips. So we got <laughs> six slices of bacon on here. To go with the eggs, you gotta get your good healthy fats. And the issue with cooking bacon is usually it'll splatter everywhere when you have it like in a spray or a dish. So let's see how much this bacon will splatter. And you can only cook six at a time. So if you need to recook, you gotta wait. As you can see right there, the air temperature is too hot. So it's telling me wait to cook it. But the issue is I'm impatient and this is supposed to be convenient. Uh -huh. It's really good. Very easy, slides off. The cleaning of the dishes is extremely easy. Yeah, it's crispy. It's crispy? Yeah. Oh, you can smell the bacon. There it is. It's all soapy. All right, let's give this bacon a taste test. Crispy, oily, and good. Right, and if you look inside, there isn't too much of a mess. Maybe on the top there are little oils and stuff, but not too hard to clean. All right, now we're making four, two, three, four burgers. Then, default, bottom shelf. Let's cook. Slide it in, close it, go. 13 minutes. Searing the bottom. All right, remove tray, flip patties, slide back in, and do it again. So you actually have to do some work here, not full laziness. It's been seven minutes. Continue. Beef hamburgers are done. Let's open this sucker up. Oh, wow. Place it right there. Look at those juicy things. There's a lot of grime on the pan, that's for sure. But in terms of cooking a hamburger, it was really simple because all you had to do was put it in, press button, flip, do it again. Not bigger. It's dry. It's kind of dry. All right, the cleaning of the pan. Look at that. Oh, how does it clean so easy? Teflon, probably. Teflon? Yeah, it needs to soak. This part is not going to clean. We're doing the New York strip steak because I live in New York now. There it is. You can either do the temperature sensor or the time-based cooking we're doing temperature. So I will have to stick this thermometer in horizontally. All right, so we're removing that because it doesn't say we can cook in all three rows, which is a bit disappointing, but we'll make it work. So let's slide the sucker in. 
Thermometer is now in. Make sure it's in the middle, halfway. Boom, boom. So you hear option of thickness. How thick is this? One and a half inches or large? Medium well, horizontally, top shelf, close. Now we are cooking. 10 to 20 minutes. Medium well, 151 degrees, 10 minutes to cook the steak. Let's see how it looks. Oh, you can smell it. It said to put it, oh, there it is. But there's something Juicy steak, yeah, that's a thermometer. Boom, it's done. Look at that juicy steak, New York steak. Ooh. So I gotta say the thermometer experience is a bit complicated because you gotta plug it into the steak and the Brava. All right, it's smoking out of the back. Yeah, it's smoking out of the back for half a second. Yeah, open it. Ooh. Oh. All right, this is medium, medium well. How's it taste? Well, that's good. Just put spices, slide it in, press to go. Set it, forget it, and it's ready. Oh, smoking everywhere. Uh oh. Boom, sizzling, sizzling. The juices from the steak are now everywhere inside of this. So it will require a little bit of a cleaning. But look at that, oh. Time flies. Now we gotta make the vegetables for the steak that we cooked earlier. <laughs> so it's telling me to put them in zone two, which is kind of the middle vertical row. And you really wanna make sure you fill the entire row. As you can see right there, that is zone two. That is the middle zone row that they need filled. Top shelf, and as you know, set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. I'm gonna go figure out the next meal. It's relatively quiet. I would say it's even quieter than like some microwaves. And now I'll go through some of the drawbacks. I would say the cable is kind of short. It's a little small. In terms of like how much you can cook in this thing, I would say it's mainly meant for maybe one, two, pushing it as three people. If you're getting to like the four level, you're really only cooking meats or just the vegetables for four people. So you can't really cook an entire meal at once for four people. But if you're a single person, maybe even two people, like you can cook an entire meal all, all at once in one tray on this thing, which is really neat. In terms of size, it is relatively large. It's like a, it's, it's, it's like a extra large toaster and you do need some space around it. So just keep in mind that you have enough countertop space. This is perfect for someone who lives in like New York City. Like right now I just moved there. We have barely any space and this thing would be perfect as like my only kitchen device because then I can cook and do everything I need in this thing. So great for people with not a lot of space. This rubber mat thing comes off, that's neat. And then it's like the cleaning aspect. Obviously if I'm comparing this to like drinking Soylent or Huel, right? Those things you just grab, drink, done. This does require to clean at the end whereas those things you're, you're, you're creating more waste and the cost is higher. Whereas this, you do have to clean the trays each time. And then typically the inside you wanna kind of wipe down as well. And then do a deep cleaning every month where they have a video on how to do that. So ideally, if there was like a self cleaning feature, if I could literally just put it under the water, rinse and be done, that would be the perfect scenario. But I don't think there's anything close to that right now in terms of technology that's available yet. And then they do have a really cool Facebook group with a community of a whole bunch of dishes and things like that. And people are just like having discussions about how their product is working. I highly recommend you go check that out. People will talk about the warranty, how long the thing has lasted. I haven't had any issues yet, but there is potential, right? There is more technology here. You have the screen, you have the button, the light bulbs on the inside that cook your food. Things can go wrong, but their customer service seems to be very responsive and helpful. And everyone's experience is gonna be different. Oh, I can really smell the mushrooms. This is amazing. Bada bang, bada boom. Here we are. Our cooked mushrooms. I did forget to put some sauce on there, but wow, they look crispy. Now these are rather large broccoli, but we're gonna do roast these. <laughs> Damn, these things are huge. Let's see. You can do one, two, and three. I will do two zones because we got two fat broccolis. There you go. Top shelf. Regular time. So it does say the air temperature is a little high. This is a downside if you're trying to cook things repeatedly 
one after the other. Just tell me to wait for it to cool down. I'll have to wait. But we ain't got time for that, so I'm just gonna push the button and it's gonna start cooking the broccoli. Let's go. Camera is a little dirty, could be from the sauce. That is another downside actually as well, is the camera isn't super detailed. So when my mom is using this, she's been using this for a little while now. She says she'll just open it to look inside, even though there is a camera because it just kind of doesn't look exactly as it is and it's hard to tell if the thing is cooked or not. I think it's just because the light, it can be a little too bright and it seems washed out, especially when you're baking like the pancakes. But it is nice to have the camera because then you can actually see it on your phone. If you're like around the house, you're going to a different floor. Maybe even if you're like going for a walk because you're cooking for something for really long, it can be helpful just to view it on your phone. And uh, have that camera that's really neat right up on the top. And the orange means it's cooking. This means it's hot and that's kind of showing you how much time it has left. I love the sleek look. It's got the Apple-esque vibe to the entire thing. And I love the feeling of this whole Brava home kitchen thing. Also, there is this entire YouTube tutorial that Brava has made online. It is like 40 minutes long, Brava. Also, you should add ch YouTube chapter markers. I know you added time codes, but the chapter markers add the zero zero and it'll make chapter markers. Get your pencil and paper, put it on 2x speed, take some notes and learn about your Brava. Bam. The question is, could I have cooked these on the stove? 100% yes. Did I want to cook them on the stove? 100% no. Because you have to actually sit there, you have to watch your food. And like, if you forget and you're like me who just kind of dozes off and finds other things to do, you burn all your food. And then you just never cook and you drink all your food. Mushrooms, I think they're good. Broccoli, it's actually pretty well done. All right, when I said this is great for like, one, maybe two person, people, families, and then four is a little bit harder. They do have double decker recipes that you can do where you can cook with two trays at the same time, but it's really only 50. So for the most part, I would say one to two persons and you get a full meal at once. Or else you can cook multiple things, just takes longer. Obviously this is not as big as a regular oven. So keep that in mind. I think I've been saying keep that in mind way too much. So I don't know, man, do we scratch that out or do we repeat it over and over again? Keep that in mind. Now in the same way that we go to an infrared sauna and heat up our bodies from the inside out to detox, the Brava is gonna heat up our food with an infrared light as well. But this time, it's for cooking. 